Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay Deus Ex. So we last we left off, we managed to escape from the MJ-12 facility with Miguel, only to find ourselves in Yunatko HQ. If you needed any more evidence to prove that Yunatko and MJ-12 are in cahoots and that there's something very wrong going on here, this is all the evidence you'll ever need. There are quite a few more people that we'll encounter in Yunako before we leave, but one of those people isn't Gunther Herman. He's currently not here. We're gonna go and talk to Alex and close the door just in case any troopers decide to walk down to here. I don't think they do, but it's best to be safe rather than sorry. And we'll check his email to see if there's anything new. The answer is no, there's nothing new. Now we know the code to here, 2001, so we don't need the multi-tool that's right there. And I believe this is a bioelectric cell, and this is a lockpick. And it is. With that, we now have 20 lockpicks and 20 multi-tools, the maximum for both. And that is only with trained in lockpicking and electronics. There really are absolutely loads of resources around for you to grab if you explore a tiny bit. I could get more in those, but to be honest, I don't need more skill in them. There's some money here, and that is quite a lot of money. 600 credits, that all but pays for that accuracy weapon mod that we got in the MJ-12 facility. Now let's go talk to Alex. JC, I've been watching you through your info link. A harrowing escape. Thanks for tuning in. You're gonna need a key to get out of Unatco. We're under lockdown. I'd give it to you, but I don't know. Anna's on patrol. If she found out... I'll take care of Anna. I think I have to play it safe. If you can get rid of her, I'll give you the key and maybe I can escape myself. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep my head down. That's dialogue that I never got before because I always take care of Anna before this point. Usually in the plane when I'm talking to Lebedev. Sorry, JC. Neither of us is going to get very far as long as Anna is around. I'll see what I can do. We're not going to get the key out of here unless we deal with Anna. There are ways that you can sort of cheat your way past dealing with Anna. If you get her hurt enough that she'll panic, she can sometimes run through the door that is otherwise locked, allowing you out. That causes some curious quirks with the game, though the game will take into account that you didn't kill Anna when you move on. That said, it doesn't make a huge difference. You'll almost always kill Anna. Let's close the door and be very careful as we move forward. Now we know that Anna's on patrol, but she's on patrol further up. There is a soldier nearby though, you. And now you're gone. You have assault rifle ammo, that makes sense. There's nothing of value there. There's sniper rifle ammunition here though. And there's something very important on this computer that we're going to get. That is decrypting Anna Navarra's kill phrase. We have part two, the word woman. Let's try and decrypt Herman's while we're here. It's not yet been installed. I wonder why. There are quite a few accounts here that we can access. Get out from Daedalus. They are closing in on your position now. Exit the building as soon as possible. You must escape. And there's nothing else there that we haven't already seen. There should be a few, yep, a few soldiers here. Let's take care of them, shall we? Hello! How are you? Oh, you're dealing a lot of damage to us, but we can just heal up whenever we want to. There is Unatko in the world, the book, if you want to read it. And... A crossbow, if you wanted it, which we certainly don't. Let's put that down. And let's get ourselves healed up, because if there's one thing that the Unaco troopers like to do, it's that they like to aim for your torso. They're really accurate with those assault rifles. Let's go and heal up. Where is the medical bot? Have you got in here? You're in here, hello! I need your services. Marvelous. We saw Sam there. Let's go and speak to Sam. 
hopefully he won't decide to set off the alarm and get us into serious trouble. He has a lot of ordnance back there. If he wanted to, he could open fire and we'd be in some trouble. General Carter. We've been through that soldier, just Carter. I've discovered some things about you, Natco. I'm unlocking the armory. I don't want to know where you're going, just load up. Walton Simons, the head of FEMA. I said load up, I don't want to hear about it. I'm going over to the Rebels, you should join me. Let's get one thing straight. We've got our share of crooked bureaucrats, fact. But this is still UNATCO, and by and large the people in this building are 24 karat gold. What good's an honest soldier if he can be ordered to behave like a terrorist? The only way to save the agency is for the good people to stay. That's how I see it. Sam's going to open the door, but he's not going to come with us. He's decided to stay and see if we can help fix the organization from within. Load up. You've still got to break out of HQ. That I do. And there are lots of goodies here, like a lockpick and a multi-tool, a stealth pistol, ammunition, and the first opportunity, and the only opportunity we have, to check out Carter's computer. There's one email. Your assistance in helping us compromise your NATCO security protocols was instrumental to your friend's escape. While we still do not know the identity of the person or persons calling themselves Daedalus, they've given us ample reason to believe that he'll be an asset to the cause of freedom. It should go without saying that this message will erase itself before the security systems come back online. Any attempt to copy or archive it will fail. Minister of True Lies. Some say concentrated power leads to abuse, but I believe that if an institution has a solid foundation, it can survive the narrow aspirations of the people it employs. Was it Sam that gave people the information needed to help to get Daedalus to help us escape? An interesting we'll question. We'll get this place back on track. For your sake, I hope you're right, Sam. We'll get this place back on track. Let's have a look at what's here. There is an augmentation upgrade canister. We want to upgrade something. Now we could upgrade regeneration and that is a really good idea. I'm going to be upgrading this a lot and also upgrading aggressive defense system. This one is just really useful. It means now that healing occurs at a slightly faster rate which ultimately saves on energy. What else is here? We have ammunition, we have a weapon mod right there, a range weapon mod that we're going to stick on the sniper rifle. <laughs> Anything else there? Nope, there's a box, we don't need that. There is a rebreather. There aren't many rebreathers in the game. A disposable chemical scrubber that can extract oxygen from water during reef submerged operations. This could be useful. We're going to keep that. There is a GEP gun if you needed a GEP gun. There is a bioelectric cell. There aren't that many opportunities to grab GEP gun, so this is a good chance if you haven't already. We don't need any bioelectric energy, and there's... Ooh! I almost missed that! A recoil weapon mod. Now, we can't use that on the shotgun anymore. The shotgun has a maximum recoil compensation. Do I want to put that on the sniper rifle? I think I do. Reduces it by 10%. Pretty nice. Let's get out of here and see if there's anything in the bin. It's going to take a few hits of the knife. There was nothing. Ah, well. Let's move forward very carefully. Anyone around here? No. Anyone in here? Man where I can see you. Someone's nearby. Someone's nearby. Are you in here? You are in here. You are. What Hello. Was oh, it was your doom. You shouldn't have tried to shoot me. And you shouldn't have alerted me to the fact that you were there. Let's quickly pop back into the medical area. It won't take many uh, scuffles with Yanako troopers for us to perish. And of course, the robot is in the room that I could have accessed immediately, but chose to walk all the way around instead. Oh well. Let's head up to level two, shall we? And be very careful, as there will be more troopers. Let's look in here. Any goodies? No. Oh wait. Yes! A 
And there she is behind the desk. She's not going to attack us. She is going to talk to us, though. There are people in here. We need to deal with them very quickly. Hello. Hang on, I heard something. Oh, I missed there. That was unusual. We'll just wait. Now, the fact that the gun is silenced means that uh, they weren't both alerted. No, no, I, I'm going to... Uh, I'm just going to stay here. I, in fact, am going to save because this... This could go wrong. This has gone pretty smoothly for the most part, but this is a place where this could go really badly wrong. It, it was nothing. You're right. It very much was nothing. Go sit back down. Marvelous. Engaging the enemy. Got you there, but... Oh, there's one. And you're going to go soon, too. You are armed with a shotgun. Let's close the door. Ben, what are you doing here? You're not going to report to Yonatko about the fact that I'm here? Good. I knew you were on my side all along, Ben. I can't get you out of here, though. I can only get myself out. Well, I could try, but... But what if they see you? You're right. It's worth the risk. You can't stay here any longer, just in case... You're compromised. I'll come get you later. Lie low. There are some nice things in here. There is a box of Sabot rounds and some plasma ammo. We don't want to, uh, however, spend lockpicks on that. We'll just blow this up. We may have attracted some attention doing that. Hello. Engaging the, <clears throat> the bots up here. There are no bots here for you. There is only doom. We'll grab this and that. At some point, we may end up uh, getting a uh, plasma gun. Anyone else in here? Ah, there's you. Hello. We're going to have a conversation with you in a moment when you've calmed down. There we go. Oh, JC. Carry on with your banking. I'm just taking one last look at the old place. Amazing if you think about it. All the hours I spent dreaming about working here. All the heroic fantasies when really this place is just a cinder block bunker with a carpet. My banking. Oh, yes. Never mind me. Go ahead and escape. I won't pull the alarm. Something wrong? Really, as long as you stay out of the way, I don't have any reason to hurt you. Okay, I admit it. I'm the one who's been stealing from HQ. It was me all along. Kaplan, the false floor in Alex's office, everything that's missing. It was me. I'm the last person who's gonna bust you for stealing. What'd you take? Anything I could use? I don't know. You sure you can keep it hush-hush? I found a few scrambler grenades I was gonna give Kaplan. Got against bots, you know, but you could take them. I have three, 1250 each. Remember when I said that scrambler grenades were expensive? Case in point, we don't need them. I'll pass. So, Shannon was the one stealing all along. Remember right at the beginning when Carter told us that there was a thief in Yonako? And all the stuff that we found hidden away under Alex's floor? It was Shannon. She'd been doing it all along. Let's hack this and get some money. How much money? Nothing. Okay, we'll get nothing. Now, someone told me that the uh, ability to get money, the amount you get is determined by your skill. The higher skill that you have, the more money that you get. If you eventually get a um, computer up to uh, a very high level, you can get more money than you would get by using the, uh, the actual codes to enter things without hacking. There's a flat amount in them. And if you hack into them, you get a different amount. Interesting information I didn't know. Hong Kong in turmoil. Disseminate to all agents. It seems like things are going really badly wrong with conflict with the triads. Is there anything else that we can get here? Nope, nothing. So let's move on. We want to go briefly. Ooh, this is locked now. We want to gain access to here. It makes sense that they lock our office because 
we're no longer an agent. Now, is there anything in here of any value? The answer is no. Nothing at all. So let's hack into this and find out what's on the, uh, nothing that I haven't seen already. Fair enough. Not really worth a lockpick, but we can always get more. Now, it's time to save, because we're gonna go and talk to our old boss. JC. Mandalay, it's JC. That it is! Hello! Did you miss me? How could you betray the Coalition? Well, it's sort of complicated. It's more the fact that the Coalition is based on I Earth. I thought we were a family here. I'm trying to explain. It's more that it's based on a foundation of lies and deceit. How could you betray the Coalition? You're just gonna keep saying that, aren't you? Yes, yes you are. Let's hack into your computer, and this time, you're not going to complain. There's nothing here that I haven't oh, already seen. Oh, it will never be the same. That it won't. Things are about to change a lot. You know what? We actually want Ben here for this. Come along, Ben. We're going to confront Mandley together. Go over there. Let's go. You will be much happier at the Library of Congress. I can't control a man's mind. You aren't a commander, Manderley. We hoped you'd give Yonetko an urbane diplomatic face, that's all. We screwed up our priorities. I refuse to be pushed into some obscure bureaucratic cubbyhole. Actually, I doubt you'll get the chance. Look around. Your star pupil has come back to teach a lesson to his old instructor. JC. I never had time to take the oath of service to the Coalition. How about this one? I swear not to rest until Yunatko is free of you and the other crooked bureaucrats who perverted its mission. Big words for a rookie. The only problem is that I've notified Agent Navarra of your escape. Trust me, she'll make sure you don't leave the facility alive. You can't run, Denton. Even if you escape, your kill switch is counting down. You'll be dead in 23 hours. Another 50 billion dollars down the drain. We'll see about that. Walton is gone. Let's talk to our old boss a bit. You Dendons sure hung us out to dry. That we did. You won't recognize Yunatko in a few weeks. Simons will turn it into his own private army. He's got his grip firmly on Yunatko. I had struck a very careful balance between Washington and the public interest. It may never again be possible. It probably won't. Go on. Make your getaway. He's just gonna let us go. Go on. Make your getaway. I'm just going to check your computer because there's something that we need to get from this. And that is the first word of Navarra's kill phrase. Flatlander. Walton Simons is disappointed. This is an email basically saying, hey, you messed up and I am not happy. Go on, make your getaway. All right, I will. You seem content to let us go. So come on, Ben, let's leave. Oh, wait, you drew your gun on us. That was a poor decision, Mandalay. A poor decision. It's at this point, as you can see, that Mandalay is no longer flagged as invulnerable and he will turn his gun on you and try to kill you. There are no new messages. Come on, Ben. We've got to get out of here. And, uh... You broke our hearts, JC. As I said, it's complicated. How could you betray the Coalition? But you're not going to listen. So, let's go and have a conversation with Navara. It's best you stay here, Ben. Things are about to get... explosive. I will have to kill you myself. Take your best shot, Flatlander woman. How did you know? You must be careful of the women in Flatland, for they are exceptionally thin and razor sharp, and they will slice through you if you accidentally walk into them. I do believe that uh, her kill phrase is a reference to the story Flatland. 
and when you say it, she explodes. This will happen to Gunther Herman as well when his kill switch is activated. We may get an opportunity to figure that out. Now, if we didn't have the uh, kill phrase, we'd have to fight her, and she is a tricky encounter. If we'd already killed her previously, she wouldn't be here. And we'd just get the key immediately from uh, Alex, and we'd be able to go. Is there someone in here? There is! You really should pay more attention. You really should. He's just going to uh, lie there infeasibly. We'll grab this lockpick, and we'll get some shotgun ammo. Marvelous. Anyone in here? No, but this does contain stuff. So we shall unlock it and have a look. There is a multi-tool and this. Acoustic sound sensor, design and specifications. Some interesting information there, but not that important to us. So, there's only one more thing that we need to do now, and that is go and get Miguel. We've done all we can. Oh yes, we also need to go and uh, get the key. That's far more important. And we might as well heal while we're here. Are you still? Yes, you're still here. Good. I almost forgot to go and talk to Alex, and then I would have got Miguel, run all the way back there, and then had to run all the way back. And that would have been silly. You gave Anna exactly what she deserved. I've sat here and watched her kill dozens of suspects. Now I'm not so worried about sticking out my neck to give you this key. I think you've already stuck out your neck, Daedalus. What are you talking about? You haven't been contacting me under an alias? The link went down. At first, I thought they'd executed you. Who else has access? Somebody cut the power to detention. I installed UNATCO security myself. It's unbeatable. You're starting to scare me. Not as much as you're scaring me. Who's Daedalus? And why does he want to rescue me? A better hacker than I. A trick like that? Well, it crossed my mind, I have to admit. I'm pretty disgusted with the agency right now, but I would have been caught. You wouldn't want to take that chance. No, but I can't just sit back and watch. You sound sincere. Maybe you should quit UNATCO. And do what? You can track me down in Hong Kong. I'm going to contact Tracer Tong and help the resistance. I might do that. Sure, I'll think about it. And I'm going to check into this mystery hacker. Sounds like a good idea. We have the key to get out. I'll check the logs. Maybe this Daedalus didn't cover his tracks. It's quite likely that Daedalus did. You better get moving. Sensible advice. You better get moving. Let's go. We have to get Miguel. Miguel is over here. With all of the Unaco soldiers gone, with the exception of one, it shouldn't be difficult to get out of here. Be careful. I am. Don't worry. Now what? Stay close. Stay close. We're going to meet up with another friend of mine, Miguel. You'll get along famously with Ben, I'm sure. And when we come back, folks, we will make our escape from Unatco and go to Hong Kong. Who knows? Maybe Miguel will stick with us for the rest of the game as a companion that can also pick up weapons and do other things, and that is not a mechanic that's in the game. Though it would have been cool if it was. Then again, it reminds me a little too much of how Daikatana does things. And that's not good. And so, when we come back, we'll leave. And I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. Ready for business. Miguel, meet Ben, my most trusted confidant. Ben, meet Miguel. I met him in the detention block in the MJ-12 facility. You've got a lot of catching up to do, you two. We'll go in a moment, you just have to catch up. It's important. I need you both to trust each other. There's still a lot more Unatco HQ to get through. Not there yet. Indeed, before we're free. Later.